So hi, welcome to our Canopy Talk. So we're here to talk to Han Chang, um, who's a CTO and co-founder. So yeah, thanks for, for joining us today. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to uh, pick your brain a little bit. Um, so firstly, it'd be interesting to know, um, you know, for developers um, who don't have experience yet, they want to transition into crypto blockchain, what kind of advice would you have for them? Yeah, no, great question. Um, so really, there's two kind of paths in the crypto space where you can remain as a web developer, but just have domain expertise in blockchain. And then the second is to actually become a blockchain engineer and write um, code that actually uh, runs on the blockchain. And so obviously on the first path, um, you keep doing what you're doing and just learn more about the, the industry in general. And the second path does require a little bit of upskilling regarding um, smart contract development specifically. And so it really depends on your interests and curiosity. But honestly, the space is still very uh, nascent. And so as a result, um, pretty much anyone can get in as long as you have the passion and the curiosity. Um, there's not a lot of experts in the space at the moment. And so yeah, just putting in a little bit of time and effort um, is going to take you a long way. Okay, yeah, some really good advice. And uh, what would you see some of the upcoming blockchain technologies that you know, people should start to read about or, or consider? Yeah, no, uh, I think the, the new hotness at the moment is uh, a protocol called ERC721. So Ethereum, as I'm sure you guys are familiar with, uh, is like the preeminent uh, cryptocurrency that allows you to run smart contracts. And so they recently came out with uh, a way to create non-fungible tokens as opposed to fungible tokens. So ERC721 is uh, that standard and basically allows um, programmers to create tokens that are unique and have specific attributes uh, unique to it and that cannot be like subdivided. And so that's kind of an area that, uh, especially in terms of like gaming where, you know, there's um, items in games or whatever, uh, you shouldn't be able to subdivide like the sword of doom or whatever, right? And so um, these tokens are a good representation of those digital objects. Fantastic. And um, just in the context of Hong Kong, it'd be great to get your take on, you know, what are the pros and cons of, of starting a, a blockchain company in, you know, here? Yeah, no, great question. Hong Kong is excellent in terms of regulatory. Um, all the legal situations are fairly clear um, as opposed to other uh, areas in the world. Um, I guess uh, for candidates, this is a, a positive uh, thing where uh, there's not actually a lot of engineers, like technical engineers in Hong Kong. So talent is pretty rare. And so uh, for a founder, it's a little bit hard to get the people that we would like. Uh, but for candidates, this is a fantastic opportunity to get it on the ground floor. OK. Yeah, some really great insights. So I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. My Hans. pleasure. Thank you. So